In this video, we'll show you how to take advantage of plants that have moved into your landscape and help nature shape its design, instead of assuming that everything new is a weed. We'll show you examples of plants that have moved into our landscape and we've allowed to remain and become valued additions. Plants move about in many different ways. Nature's primary means of propagation is via seeds that move by the wind, fall close to the source, or are transported through the actions of wildlife. Birds and other wildlife that come to your yard will transfer lots of seeds, especially under your trees and shrubs that they use for shelter, and where birds perch and feed, like this flicker eating pagoda dogwood fruit. Here's the pagoda dogwood flowering. It's our favorite plant that nature added to our landscape, probably from a seed transported by wildlife. Six years ago, some different leaves appeared in this mature shrub mass of Itea that I had planted. I waited and watched it develop, projected its future growth and form, and finally decided that it would make an excellent structural design element. In fall, it's often easier to visually find new plants as leaf color changes. You can see the pagoda dogwood leaves stand out in the red-leaved Itea. The two yellow-leaved saplings in the front were spice bush that we decided to remove. As another example, this oak leaf hydrangea appeared along this path where it can serve as edging where other plants weren't being successful. It complements an existing larger mass downslope. Because our meadow wants to revert to a woodland, trees and shrubs show up frequently. I selectively leave a few well-located trees as design elements where they accentuate views and make sense of paths. They also provide essential feeding, nesting, and perching structure for birds like this field sparrow that's nesting here. One of the primary goals of natural landscaping is to promote and allow for diverse and functioning herbaceous plant communities. Even after a landscape is established, it's important to let plants move about as a key aspect of plant community building. But you need to be watchful for invasive plants like this garlic mustard. Identifying and removing invasive weeds when flowering, but before seeding is important, but a topic for another video. This echinacea is an example of herbaceous perennials that move. Their impact to design is short term, so we constantly let these plants reshape the plant communities in our yard. This is what the echinacea looks like when emerging in spring. We thought this plant might be a weed when it appeared, but we waited and it turned out to be a desirable cardinal flower. We've kept it so it can feed hummingbirds and insects and add a vivid splash of color in summer. Native columbine appears all over our yard. Some we weed out, but these plants soften the rock wall as a nice design element. Sometimes nature doesn't cooperate with the plants we choose. This is the third native vine we planted to grow up this fence in this spot. This much happier vine further up is Virginia creeper that showed up on its own. Same story here under our deck. Nature knew better than us what would work. When plants appear, if you don't know that they are an undesirable weed, evaluate them over time before pulling them. They don't have to be removed immediately. In fact, it's easier and takes less time if you help shape a natural plant community more holistically. It can be fun to puzzle out what mystery plants appear in your yard. And it's an inexpensive and satisfying way to expand your natural landscape. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the Gardens for Wildlife channel. You can also visit our website and blog at www.campbelllandscape.com.